What's up guys, welcome back, it's Joe here, Artillery Strength Training. Uh, thanks for coming back to day 13 of the Quarantine 14. I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday, so it might be a slightly longer video. I've taken a bunch of these movements I've shown you over the last few days and put them into a full body workout where we're focusing on upper body pushing movements on the anterior chain and then lower body pulling movements, so working on that posterior chain, okay? You're gonna need bands. If you've got kettlebells or dumbbells, great. You might make more gains rather than just maintaining. If you've got a barbell, awesome. You can chuck that in as well, okay? We're going through the first three sets. I want us to get in the band, and we're gonna fire out those banded one-twos like we did for the fight bit earlier in the week for 30 seconds non-stop to get us nice and warmed up, okay? Then we're gonna take our resistance band to the post, and we're gonna do chest flies, 12 on each side, the exact opposite than what we did yesterday, okay? So chest flies, 12 and 12, okay? Then we're going to hit the floor, basically, and pump out 12 to 15 push-ups, ideally. If you can manage 10, okay. You wanna try and get at least eight. If you can't get at least eight push-ups, you wanna be doing them in a resistance band like I am at the moment, because I'm injured, okay? So push-ups or a banded chest press. Again, if you've got kettlebells, dumbbells, or a barbell, you can just essentially do chest press or a bench press. But really, we're looking at body weight push-ups at least eight, okay? Maximum 15, okay? Um, and then we're gonna finish with the banded breathe pullovers lying on the floor, hinging the, or sorry, harnessing the resistance band to a low point, and then pulling the chest through that triangular window, okay? So grab yourself a band, grab yourself some kettlebells if you've got them, dumbbells, barbell, enough space to get a sweat on, I'll flip this camera around and show you what it looks like. Let's go. All right, so you're gonna get in your resistance band like we did for the Fight Fit Camp, okay? And you're gonna set the timer for 30 seconds and just punch out nice and long, nice and rapid. Keep yourself moving, extend those arms all the way out, fight the resistance. Thirty seconds are up. Okay, good. We're going to head back over to our resistance band, which we've latched onto the post now. Okay. Again, you might want to increase the resistance if you can. If you've got a bunch of bands, play with the resistance if you want. We're going to go unilateral, offside leg. Okay. Hand on hip, keep the spine straight, and then pull that door closed. Come back. Pull that door closed. Come back. Chest out, nice and proud and tall. We're going to go for twelve on each side. Okay, so we're moving into our third movement now for the upper push. Basically, we're just gonna um, hit the deck and do some push-ups, okay? You wanna do at least eight. If you cannot manage eight bodyweight push-ups, that's okay. You could do them off a wall, but I'd rather you get in a resistance band, okay? Tighten the core and focus on pushing out as fast as you can and coming back in nice and slow for two or three seconds and then pushing out, okay? Again, you wanna be doing eight to maybe 15 push-ups. If you can do much more than 15, really you wanna be trying to increase the resistance, but I appreciate not everyone can do that right now. So I'm going to jump in these bands because my shoulder is still a bit weak and I can't do push-ups off the floor just yet. I'm going to jump in, set myself and then push out, come back for two or three seconds, lock out. Okay, so that's my first three movements done. Now, I wanna try and find a low point to anchor my band on so I can get on the floor and hit those breathe pullovers. This is what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm down here in the gutter. I've got my band latched around the low point of this gate, okay? Um, you wanna set yourself up so that you're lying flat on the floor, trying to keep some resistance in the band there, okay? So you really have to work, engage the core, suck your stomach in and try and kind of tilt your pelvis at the same time so that your, your back is flat against the floor so there's no space under there if you can, okay? I'm gonna scoop my hands through the band, pull in a little bit of tension. Again, bracing the core, I'm gonna try and dig my hands all the way down towards my belly button and squeeze there. You'll feel a nice pump in your lats there as well as you come up, chest out through that window frame. All 
All right, guys, there it is. That is your upper body push circuit for today's workout. You're gonna go through that three times, okay? 30 seconds banded one twos, and then 12 chest flies with the band on the opposite leg to the opposite hand, switch legs, switch hands, 12 and 12, okay? And then we go for ideally 10 to 12 push-ups, but if you can't do that, get in a resistance band and push out 12 chest presses with the band, okay? Or if you've got kettlebells, dumbbells, barbells, use that, that's fine, but we're looking for 10 to 12 on that movement. And then the final movement, the fourth movement, we're laying on the floor, flat back, okay? Suck in the stomach, and then reaching all the way up, head through the window, and pulling that band down, the resistance there we're fighting against there and then returning slowly okay so you've got four movements you're going to do that three times 30 seconds banded one twos 12 chest flies on each hand 10 to 12 push-ups or banded presses and then 12 three pullovers do not change the reps do not drop the reps hit that little round three times okay then you can take a full three minute rest and we'll look at the lower body pull movements. Come back, check it out yourself. And you're ready to hit the posterior chain on the lower half now, right? I've got the first movement is a single leg glute bridge with whip, okay? I picked this up off Phil Daru. Um, his bodyweight MMA program was awesome. And I think it really transferred to some faster sprints, uh, stronger out of the bottom with my deadlifts and squats. So this movement is awesome, but you haven't seen it before, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what the single leg glute bridge with whip is right now. Check it out. So you're gonna get yourself set up flat on the floor, okay? Feet planted, knees up, not too close to your butt, but at a comfortable distance. I like to lie flat with my palms um, against the floor. I'm gonna lift one leg, toe to the sky, bridge, and then I'm gonna open up as close to the floor as I can, and then bring it back, and then tap the floor again with the ball, bottom of my back, okay? Up, out, close that, come down, pump straight back up, keeping that toe pointed, keeping the leg as straight as you can. Back down as soon as your belt line touches the floor, push back up, open out, come back, sit back down. You go for six on each side. Once you've finished those single leg glute bridge with whip, we're then going to go for a single leg toe touch, okay? I'm going to take the opposite hand to the opposite foot. Without bending my knee too much, I'm going to hinge at the hip and just touch, stand upright, that's one rep. Touch, come upright, that's two reps. Again, if you've completed all the units throughout the last 11, 12 days, these will be a breeze to you. And if you've got a kettlebell, you could even use that and load it a little bit, okay? But for now, we're just going for six body weight, single leg toe touch, hinging at the hip, Soft knees, you don't want to keep dead straight knee here. My left knee is kind of soft, okay? And I want to work on stability, work on getting that range all the way over, feeling that pinch in my hamstring. If you lift up your rear leg, it's actually a little bit easier to balance, okay? So six on each side, get after it. Now you've done your six, you're going to go for the high tension squats with good mornings, okay? These are a little bit more difficult to do with a band, so you're just going to go body weight, nice and slow tempo, okay? I'll show you facing this way. You're going to set up, get into a nice low goblet squat, elbows to knees, and then I'm going to bring my hands in, and I'm going to push my butt back as far as I can, keeping my knees soft, but ideally not bending them, okay? So I just hinge over, as soon as my hamstrings yell at me, I then come back upright, Squat down, hinge over, that's two reps. Squat down, hinge over, that's three reps, okay? This is a really good movement to load if you do have a kettlebell, okay? If you keep that kettlebell in close to your, your, uh, to your chest, drop it down the center line, come up, and then hinge over. All right, that's it guys, upper body push, lower body pull, you're done, okay? Shouldn't take you more than maybe 30 or 40 minutes, but the timer's not on, just focus on form, focus on some explosivity, and try and increase any load where you can, okay? Again, not all of these can be done with bands. If you've got a kettlebell or a dumbbell lying around, that's great, even if you've just got a plate, you could use that for some of those movements, okay? So a quick recap, you're gonna start off with 30 seconds of banded one-twos, you're then gonna 
take that band and you're going to go for 12 uh, chest flies, okay, one-handed, standing on one leg. I'm on my right leg at the minute using my left arm, okay, so you've got 12 and 12 chest flies. Then you're going to hit the floor, bust out 8 to 12 push-ups. If you can't manage that, get in the bands and push out 10 to 12 banded chest presses, okay. Then you hit the floor again, you've got your band now latched to a low point and you're going to bust out 12 strict and strong breathe pullovers, putting a little bit of gas in the chest, feeling a bit of a pump in the lats, okay? Then you can rest for two to three minutes. This isn't as high intensity as yesterday's one was, so you should try and reduce the rest period a little bit to challenge yourself. Maybe 90 seconds to two minutes would be good, and then you're gonna jump into the posterior. That's the backside on the lower half, okay? A lot of these are just body weight only, all right? Um, we started off with the glute, or the single leg glute ham bridge with whip okay so you're going to get both feet on the floor lift one up point it skywards hips up and then whip that leg out bring it back in and then hips down as soon as your butt or your waistband hits the deck you're going to push through again with the foot that's on the floor obviously keeping your other foot skyward whip out bring it closed and then sit back down again okay six on each side um, and then we went into the single leg deadlifts six on each side then we went into the high tension squats with good morning nice and slow elbows to knees stand up hinge over good morning okay here is the Christmas gift under the tree to you guys all right every round you can reduce these reps by one okay so when I do the um, glute single leg glute bridge with whip I go six and six and then I go into my single leg deadlift six and six then I go into the high tension squats for ten on the second round I'm gonna go five and five single leg glute hand bridge with whip I'm gonna go five and five single leg deadlift and then I'm gonna go eight on the uh, high tension good morning squats with good mornings okay and then obviously in your third and final round you can go four and four single leg glute ham bridge with whip and then you can go four and four single leg deadlift and then you can go for six nice slow tempo strict squats with good mornings and that is it you're done okay and the rest of the week is your own Okay, so that's it. I'll see you tomorrow for day three. We'll be focusing on a, a lot of core musculature, okay, and giving yourself a, a night. And that's it, okay. Come back tomorrow, check out workout number three. It'll be another full body workout, probably a little bit higher intensity, a little bit more demand on the core work, on the abs, okay. Come back tomorrow, see off this quarantine 14 with me. In the meantime, you can check me out at Artillery Strength Training on Instagram. If you're not on YouTube watching this video right now, get your ass over to YouTube, subscribe to Artillery TV. If you are on YouTube watching this right now, I expect you've already subscribed, so why not share it with somebody else that'll benefit, all right? Results, love, effort team, peace.